Well, happy Monday, everyone. This is Devin Murray with Tract More Families with another one of my Monday master classes. I hope everyone had a great weekend and you are looking forward to a tremendous week. Today, I thought I would take some time and talk to you about how to get reviews and testimonials. So first, why do testimonials and reviews really even matter? I think we all understand at some at some level why they're important and why I'm always harassing you to get them. But let's just dig in and kind of remind ourselves real fast as to why they are so darned important. First, we I realize that parents today are different from really any other generation past. They're the most connected ever. These they wake up and live on the internet. I and mean, it's it's in their it's in their pocket. They're always on review sites, they're always doing social media. We gotta remember, this is the group that wakes up in the morning and before they even brush their teeth or get out of bed or have a cup of coffee, they're already looking at social media sites, if not also a review site. They are connected, they're on the internet, they're looking to see what's happening. We also know from studies that this group of people, this group of parents, they're needing 10 plus sources of information before they make a choice. They don't just look at one source and make a choice of what school they're going to go with. They're looking at 10 or more. We also know that over 60% of these parents have already made a choice for what school they're going to go to before they call you to set up a tour or to talk to you. All that they're doing at that point is trying to validate the decision they've already made. They went to all the review sites. They looked at your website. They've done all of that. They're just now looking to see and call you and get that proof that what they've seen is actually what it is and to get the process going. So because of this, we understand that we need to be out there and ahead of the curve and telling them how great we are. We also know that this group essentially crowdsources their decisions. They want to hear what someone like them says about your school and we know that they trust reviews from people they've never met whereas 10 years ago rely on referrals we knew that people asked their friends their neighbors their uh, priests they asked those kinds of people who was a good school what they liked what they didn't like what they felt about a school or a restaurant or really anything but now what we're finding is that they don't do that anymore. They actually go online and they look for people that have been to your school that are like them, that are the same, same demographic, the same social graphic, the same psychographic as them. And they will trust the review of someone that's like them more than even friends and family sometimes. So it's really important for us to have good testimonials and reviews out there and from all sorts of different people because we're never going to know which one they're, first the parents are going to see or second who they are going to view as to be like them. Another reason that we really need to get reviews and testimonials because we know that there's a review or there's a bias towards negative and bad reviews on review sites. I've had the opportunity to do some study. I actually went down and talked to the folks spent a day talking to the folks at Yelp. So I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. And they understand that you're going to ask people who are happy to leave reviews. They know that if someone's unhappy, you're never going to say, I'm sorry you had such a miserable time here and you hated this restaurant. Would you mind going and leaving a review about that? They know that's never going to happen. So they bias the picture because they also want to give people a clear picture of what's happening and they because they know that a you're not going to encourage negative reviews to happen B the other thing they do is they make it very hard to get rid of negative reviews because they know that you'll put a tremendous effort into getting rid of them if you could because you don't want them even if they're honest so they have a bias towards making sure that those show up kind of a third reason why they have a bias towards the bad reviews is because you have people like me that try and figure out how to game the system that try to figure out how can I get all of my good reviews to be there and all my bad reviews to disappear off the face of the earth and they know that if I can figure out a way to do it I will so they make it harder they make those bad reviews stay up there but you know and all that this means all that 
the kinds of parents and how they're finding you and how they're making their decisions and the tendency towards negative reviews staying longer, all that it means is that you have to have a lot of good reviews and testimonials. And you need to have them on your website. And you need to have them on every page of your website. I'm a huge fan of every single page should have a testimonial. Either that testimonial should be about whatever is also on that page so it supports that. Your home page has stuff about your home, about the school in general. If you have a first grade school, I'm going to use that as an example here, then the testimonial should be about the first grade class or something going on there, right? And if you can't do that, then have every single page have a rotating testimonial that randomly pulls one of your 30 or 40 testimonials and places it there so that every time a parent comes to a page they're seeing people talk about how wonderful and awesome you are. You also need to have these testimonials on all the review sites. Yelp, Google Plus, GreatSchool.org, uh, Private School Review. You want them on all the sites because you don't know which one parents are going to go to when they're looking to make a choice. We know that they're going to over 10 places, which means they're probably going to multiple different review sites. We want to make sure that we are on all of those different sites. You also want to make sure that this that these testimonials are on all of your school material. So all the brochures that you print up, anything that you send home, make sure that you have reviews on them. And if you don't if you only have 5 or 6 reviews, then people are going to get tired of seeing those, but if every single time something home or create something you can pick from a stack of reviews that match what's happening even better yet, then that's awesome. That's how you're going to get those reviews out there and get people to pay attention. And finally, you I love to see you guys have a, a way to show your reviews in, in the lobbies, the gyms, the common areas as, as people are coming into your building, that lobby in the front or the kind of waiting area out in front of a uh, auditorium or a gym. I love to see you guys have testimonials there because that's how you convince not just your own parents, but a lot of these you're going to have other people's parents who are going to be coming also to your school. A lot of sporting events, you play, we play against schools like us due to the size of our programs, of our schools, we tend to have activities with other private schools. Those are your ideal clients. So why not be trying to sell them that maybe you are a better choice? And why not also be selling your own parents who are already there that you are the right choice to stay with? The one thing which I love is to have a monitor or a TV that's playing a loop of testimonials. And I think it's fine if you just do a PowerPoint slide presentation that slowly rotates through all of your different testimonials. I, this is, it's such a powerful thing. And if you have a couple of uh, video ones up there too, those are great. And they just play. And they're, they show up for 15, 20 seconds each, and then the next one moves on. And that's a great, subtle way to show your testimonials. And even if people don't consciously read those, there's a certain part of the subconscious mind that's going to be aware of what those are saying and is going to be affected by how great your school is and the fact you've got those. So getting testimonials and reviews really is easy. I know we all like to freak out about it and we'd love to do anything but that. I know we'd love to look at what the new curriculum is for next year or some new books or review of a teacher. We'd rather do any of those things other than sit down and try and get testimonies and reviews because we think it's such a hard and challenging thing, but it's really not. They are really easy. And the simplest step of this is to ask a parent anytime they express happiness with your school, simply ask them for a review or a testimonial. And it can be as simple as saying, I am so glad you're happy. Would you mind doing me a favor and writing that down? That's all that needs to happen. So when you're talking to a parent in, in the hallway or before an event, be, before a uh, stage presentation, and they talk to you about how great and how much they love your acting program, why not just say, I am glad you are so happy. Would you mind doing me a favor and just putting that down in writing? That's all you have to do. That's as, that is all that's involved. That's as hard as getting testimonials is. Now, 
I will admit it might take a little bit of practice in the beginning. We're not used to asking people for those kinds of reviews. But I will guarantee you that it, once you practice it a couple times, it becomes very easy. I'll also suggest maybe you do a, a little bit of training on this with your staff as a, as a part of your quarterly training sessions that are very powerful and very helpful to keep everyone on the same page. Why not take 10 minutes and role play asking people for a testimonial? Have teachers and staff just pair off by twos and each practice for five minutes each just to get used to it. Another big thing to do is to educate your staff about the importance of testimonials and how they relate to your school's success. Have them watch this presentation. Have them read the article that goes along with this so they understand how important testimonials are and why you need to get testimonials. And also help educate them to understand that if you get more testimonials, you're going to get more enrollments. As you get more enrollments, you can actually make more money. And as your school brings in more money, that, that directly relates to higher pay for teachers and staff. It relates to a higher materials budget so you can buy those new things that you've always wanted or have more of, of the supplies and materials that, that teachers are always wanting and staff are always wanting. You can do those improvements that you've always wanted to do. You can get the new iPads that you've been wanting or improve the gym or improve the stage or improve the science classroom. All of this comes directly from having more testimonials and reviews because the better you do with those, the more students you have, the more students you have, the more that you can afford to give the teachers and staff what they really want. Also remind them that trips, those cost money. By getting the reviews and testimonials, they're going to be able to have it so, so they can take more trips or have trips with less cost. It's going to be so much easier for them. So how do we get re reviews? Some of the other great ways beyond educating them is I find a lot of times it helps really to give our staffs those a, a little bit of an, an incentive. Uh, Five dollars a review is a great one. Every time they bring you a review, give them a $5 gift card. J just go buy a bunch of $5 g gift cards for local restaurants, maybe an iTunes and an Amazon one. When they give you a review, go ahead and hand them a gift card. Have it tied into a part of their bonus. Obviously, it should have it, it should be a part of the bonus because a good teacher, a teacher who is doing great is going to get parents and students who are saying how great that teacher is. So why shouldn't that then be a part of their bonus to say that a teacher that's doing great gets an extra bonus or a higher raise or however you want to phrase it. Make it a part of that, that we're expecting to see reviews and testimonials coming out of your classrooms and from you. Another one that I love is a special party or event. Now these I actually love to do. You can do them by classrooms, but I love to see it done a little bit bigger, either by a grade, uh, if you're more that elementary level, or by department for the middle school, high school level. And whoever gets the most reviews over a quarter or a year, they get a dinner or a spa party, or the one who gets the most for the month, bring them in pieces on one Friday afternoon. You know, treat them well. Give them a little something, a, a party or a special event. Depending on your teacher, spa days are, are, are great. Dinners are great. Maybe cater something into the school. Cater a really good luncheon or a dinner for them and their spouses. Great way to incentivize getting those testimonials and, and reviews. The other big thing you have to do is you really do need to make it easy to get reviews. Because if you make it difficult, people, you, will, you will not get reviews and you won't do them. If it takes you 20 minutes for every review you get, you might not do it. Especially if it's taking the parent 20 minutes to leave that review. So make it easy on yourself to get reviews. Systemize, systematize stuff. Use outsourcers to do a lot of the work. I love using outsourcers with my reviews to take a video review and I have them, they'll take a video testimonial 
they will edit it up for me they will take the what is said and actually put it in writing so I have a written testimonial they'll then take the highlights of that so I have both a full long testimonial and then I'll have a shorter snippet testimonial they also go so far as they take some of those really important ones and create social media images for me of those where they'll take the testimonial and put it over over some type of a background and they'll get that back with me so I might have four to ten different ways to use that one testimonial but it's all done by an outsourcer and it's all costing me fifteen to twenty dollars and it's done really powerful but, but, but I made it easy on myself that all I have to do is send them the raw footage and go boom here thanks bye and within a couple of days I get everything back that I can run that I can put on my website I can put on social media I can use the video whenever I need to tremendous way so just need to make it easy on yourself or you won't do it also make it easy by making computers and tablets available at key locations I especially love this during those fundraiser dinners or those special events where it would be easy to ask a parent would you mind giving us a review and have someone with that computer or tablet who knows how to get people to log into their account so, so they can use that computer to leave a review on Google Plus or Yelp or any other site that they can leave those with that computer they can log in and get their information make sure there's someone there to help them so they're not staggering on how to do it make sure that you link in any online communications that you have some kind of a link saying if you'd like to leave a review here's where here's how I love to put reviews and footers and testimonials in footers of my emails because it's generally read and people see it and it's a reminder that oh yeah I should I should let the school know how great you know my son's teacher is make sure you print up a flyer sometimes and send them home showing how to give reviews let people know how to get to the websites and where to leave leave the reviews because sometimes they move also let them know what websites matter to you for people to leave reviews I also love these which make it easy which are the review cards it's a little card you can't see it here but this is half of a sheet of paper that I have printed up on cardstock so it's got some weight to it and I keep these in every classroom and I keep them in my office and when I'm walking around a lot of times I have them in a jacket pocket or on a clipboard so if I ever run across a parent who wants to leave a review I can say would you mind writing that down oh and I have this real simple form and they can write it out and they can sign it then I have everything that I need to move forward I've gotten the information you can use these at parent and teacher conferences you can use them at school events fundraisers any kind of thing like that it's great to have these review cards just ready to go why not have a small stack of them out at the front desk where, where parents can come in and leave comments when they're dropping off their stu students or picking them up great way to make it very easy on the parent to leave a review I also always make sure that newsletters have a notice of how to give reviews I hope you're sending home a monthly newsletter with your parents to continue to build that relationship and a part of that is I always like to put what whatever my new testimonials are for that month in that newsletter that way n parents can see who it is and the parent who left the recognition gets recognized but then I also put in there how I'd like them to contact me with their testimonial or review very powerful way to do this make sure that those are going home in those newsletters so that parents know both that it's that's a part of the culture to give reviews and how to do it to make it easy you also want to give people samples of good testimonials a lot of times it's not that people don't want to give you a testimonial it's simply that they don't know how to give a testimonial. they don't know where to start people do not go around all day long thinking about what wonderful things they're going to say about your school it's just not what we do they have a billion other things that they're worrying about and that's the last thing on their mind that they're worrying about so by giving them samples of what good ones look like they can model or copy those really good reviews it gives them a place to start and then they can move from there 
another great trick that, that I love to use is the pre-written testimonials. I do this especially when I send a letter to someone requesting a testimonial. And this is where I've actually taken three testimonials and written them personally for them. And I say very simply, I would love a testimonial from you. I understand you're very, very busy. If you'd like to, you may pick any one of these testimonials that I have, just circle it and sign it, and that's it. Or you're welcome to please write your own review if you would like to do that. Now, I always make sure that I've actually put the time and effort into making the ones that I write personalized. So I think about who their student is and what they've been loving about our school and what the parent has said. If I hear that a parent loved our computer lab, I might put that in one of the testimonials. So I make sure that it's not just a canned response, a canned testimonial that I send the same three to every single parent. Because then you're also going to get back three of the exact same also. I make sure that the ones that I send are customized to them, and it makes it very easy for them to get that testimonial back to me. So to make getting a getting testimonials easy, you also need to make it a goal. And to be a goal, it has to have specific measurables. As someone has said, that a goal without numbers is only a dream. And if you just dream about getting more testimonials and reviews, you're never going to do it. But if you put some numbers down to that and start forcing yourself to live to those numbers, then it's a goal and you will get those testimonials. I love doing 10% of my families on any given month and target them once a month, every month, I target 10% of my families. And now, if that seems like too much for you, go ahead and just target five parents. Start there, you can build and grow. But you'll find that this, it's really, it works out really well. Say you have 100 parents. I'm going to make my math very simple here. Say you have 100 parents. So every month, you're going to target 10 of them. That's a very reasonable number. And you're going to actively try and get those 10 parents to give you reviews. Now, all of them are not going to give you reviews. I, and that's not going to happen. They're busy. But I find that 50% is not at all uncommon. I can normally get on any given month about 10% of my families to give me a review. Sometimes it's as low as 20%, but that's still two. But let's go with my average of five. If I get five parents a month to leave me a review, that's 60 reviews and testimonials I get every single year. Think what I can do with all of those. And that's not that hard. That's only getting five people a month to, to agree to give me a testimonial. I will encourage you to do that. Make it a plan. I do that every, every month, month in and month out. And I really, it's important just to have a system. You can't just be reactive and hope that these five parents will give you testimonials. You have to have a system to actively go out and proactively get these testimonials. And I do it very simply. Every month, again, I pick 10% of the families, and we start off with an email home. Just a simple email asking parents to go online and leave a review, and I generally link to whoever I want to have them go to at that time. I'll also, a lot of times, have the custom uh, three choices that they can cut and paste to make life easy for them. I also find that calling and asking is the next great step or talking to the parent when they're dropping off or picking up. Just ask them, what can I do? How do I get you to get this review? What do I need to do to make this a 9 or a 10 experience for you and your family? Ask for those reviews. Powerful, powerful by sending a letter home. Not an email, but an actual, hand, an actual written letter actually hand-signed by me. Very powerful. In this day of digital communications, we're so used to getting email and deleting them or ignoring them that when something actually shows up in our mailbox now, we have a tendency to pay attention to it, and it means a lot more that someone has taken the time to write that. Now, I do print my letters, and they're fairly formulaic, but I do customize them for each person. It takes me about five minutes. I know my customers. 
but I still I hand sign the letter. It's, it's not a stamp. It's not a digital print. Even if I have my staff write the letters, I make sure that I sign it. I also make sure that the envelope is addressed. It's hand addressed. I don't use office printers to print the people's address. I want this to be personal because I'm asking for them to do something personal to me. And finally, when someone does give me a review, I personally follow up with a handwritten thank you card. I think that is so important to thank people for giving reviews, and I think that cards, actual writing, and not just an email that says thank you, and not just a passing in the hall, oh, thanks for that great review. No, I think it's important to actually write and have a true thank you card. And when you're thinking about getting reviews and testimonials, don't forget about your past parents, families, and your past students. Just because they're not with you anymore doesn't mean they weren't happy. By de by definition, we have a, a very definitive amount of time that we can interact and have people as our customers. Because at some point, the kid grows old enough that they move on. They either graduate up to high school or they graduate and go to college. That's just the nature of our, of our business. We're not like a doctor or a dentist who can have someone from the time they're 15 until they're 85. We have them for, you know, 5, 12 years. That's about it. So don't forget about those past ones. And these are great because they show a great story, too, because you can have the student or that parent that graduated f from you and went on to college and was able to say, I did great at college because of the education and the personality that I learned from Ace Academy. Those are some of the best stories out there, the ones who have left you, quite frankly. So make sure that you don't forget about them and reach out to them to try and get testimonials from those past students and families. As I've said before, make sure that you thank people for giving reviews. Don't take it for granted. It does a lot when you, when you show respect for them having given that testimonial. It encourages them to give more and it encourages other families who see that you're thankful and appreciative to send those testimonials to you. Probably one of the biggest ones is a thank you card. I do five handwritten thank you cards every single day. It's a part of my gratitude exercises that I do. But Anyone who gives me a review, I make sure that I send them a personal thank you card in the mail with a stamp on it. My postman hates me because I send them out every single day from my house. It's actually part of my evening activities. But it is so great, and those get left on people's desks, and, and they show them to their spouse. They show them to their neighbors and their friends and to the other parents that they're there. They show that you thanked them for that testimonial. They sit out on the counter and people see it and wonder why they were getting a thank you card. It has a tremendous subconscious effect on people and reminds people that, oh, if I leave a review, if I send a good testimonial, I will also get one of these and people want to feel important and special. One of the other great things I love to send to people is, it's actually from Send Out Cards which is a multi-level marketing company, but I don't really promote them beyond this. But I can, I can have packages and cards that are essentially pre-written, but they use a handwriting font so it looks like I'm sending them. And I can send out a package of brownies and a thank you card to people. Takes me uh, you know, two minutes to do that, and then people get brownies sent to them. Talk about how to get somebody to talk about you and talk about how awesome school is. Le you know, have them leave a good testimonial and, and then you send them brownies. Uh, I find this also works really good too if I can send it to someone's work. Now, I have to be careful with this. I have to know where they work and that's a small place and it's not going to present a problem. But I also know that most people work with people like them. So I want to get in front of their associates at work and by sending a, a package of brownies to, to someone at work it gets talked about 
and everybody remembers. Also realize that people want to feel special. So make sure that you're calling attention to people who are giving you reviews in the newsletters, at events. Don't just thank the teachers at, at the events. Why not thank one or two of the parents that left a great review or testimonial about that classroom and that teacher? Also, when you're up on stage starting the process, make sure that you thank the parents for leaving the great reviews in the newsletter when you send it home every month. People want to feel special. They feel important when they get called out and get recognized. And when you do that, not only does it help you solidify that relationship so that they know that you are appreciative of them sending that testimonial in, it other people also want to be that same thing. So they will send in testimonials. Because the parent that just watched their friend get thanked, they want that same thing. There's that what's in it for me going on in the background. So they will ask, how do I leave that testimonial? They will incline, be more inclined to give you the testimonials because they've seen that you're recognizing people and they want to be recognized also. We'll talk real quickly here about video testimonials. I know this probably freaks everybody out, but it shouldn't. Video testimonials are really extremely easy to get. However, they're also the most powerful type of review that you can get, which is why we need to put effort into getting video testimonials. One of the first reasons is because our parents now are video first consumers. They really want to watch a video rather than read. They would rather watch a 10 minute video than read the five minute article that goes along with it. That's just who they are. They've grown up with video. They've grown up, quite frankly, a lot of them have grown up with the internet and having tremendous video always available. So they're used to that. That's how they want to consume information. We need to make sure that we are providing them the, the information in the path that they want it to be provided. The other great thing about a video testimonial is it can be used in multimedia paths. So obviously I can use it as a video. I can pull the audio out and have it only as an audio testimonial. And I can have it transcribed into a written testimonial. And I can have it written into social media images that I can use on my Facebook and Pentagram and not Pinterest, Pinterest page and Instagram page. Really powerful, really great way. So this is why so I can do all of that with the video testimonial. And I can't I don't have all those paths as easy with any of the other options. Now don't worry about doing video testimonials and thinking that they need to be professional and you need to have the film crew in there with all the lights and the huge cameras and tens of thousands of dollars of costs. Actually people would prefer an authentic testimonial to that polished one. They want to see people like them who have messed up hair, who have bad days, who are standing outside of the building with people walking by and noise in the background. They want people like them. You also you don't need to try to be perfect. Don't try and reshoot and reshoot until you get the perfect right answer worded. That's not what people want. People want to see flaws. People want to see someone who's thinking about what they're answering and who might stumble over a word. So just let the camera roll. When you start, just go ahead and let it roll. And because you you can always edit to the good answers and combine to get the right answers that to get that answer that fits what they what the person was trying to say. And what I find that works great is honestly, I find an iPhone is perfect for doing video testimonials anymore. I don't need the big $500 camera, I don't need the $3,000 camera. The iPhone that I'm carrying in my pocket is already perfect. You'll find that the video from any of the current generation of iPhones shoots great enough video to be on the web. And that's where we're going to be taking most of the stuff. We're not trying to shoot a TV commercial that we're going to run on, run on the local news. We're trying to shoot something that we can put on the web so when our parents and our prospects are looking, they see our testimonials and our reviews on the web. iPhone works just great for that. I also find it, quite frankly, it's easy to carry. Carrying a mobile phone is not that hard. I can slip it in a pocket. I can 
slip it in a jacket pocket. I can have it in my hand without taking up too much space and room. I can still do that and shake people's hands. You'll also find that the iPhones are not scary to parents. They're used to having that camera in their face. So by having it there, it just continues to make life easy. You know, it's not scary. It's not hard for them to have that at them and, and be talking to the camera as opposed to a $3,000, you know, over-the-shoulder camera that, like, a camera crew would work. Those are intimidating. An iPhone is not scary at all. I also find that it's a great way to get to use my old phones. I regularly use my old iPhones that, that I've replaced because I've moved up to the next level. I'll delete all the uh, cell phone data off of it. So it's only a camera. But it's great. It's small. I can leave it in my desk. Any, any teacher, staff member who needs it can grab it. It has plenty of storage because I have nothing else on it but the video testimonials. Great way to use an old camera that 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 you've had that you don't need anymore. Some ways to make it easy is to let people have the final edit authority. Um, and this is basically the concept of, I always tell people, before I put this live, I will let you come in and see it and you can nix any part of the testimonial that you don't like. And the reason I do this is because people don't want to look foolish. And they're afraid that if they get on camera, they will and that you'll then just publish it. So by giving them the ability to say no at any point, it removes that fear from them. So they don't have to be afraid of looking foolish. And because they're not afraid, they're then more inclined to actually agree to do it. Now, I'll be very honest with you, I almost never have anyone that asks for any edits. Once they see it, they're great with it. They just wanted to have that option and that ability if they needed it. Now, you also, to get reviews and testimonials, you actually need to create a, a culture of reviews. People really do like to be heard, and they do really love to give reviews. They just don't know how. They don't know that you want it because you haven't been asking, because you haven't been out there making it easy for them and, and showing them that other people have been leaving reviews and testimonials. They don't know, and since you haven't been asking, they assume you don't want them because they have other stuff to be thinking about, so it's not top of their mind. But when you make it in in the newsletter and you're thanking parents from the stage and there's a place where they can leave reviews when they come in for parent-teacher conferences or when they come in for any kind of school event or a fundraiser, when you teach them that you do want reviews and testimonials and make it a part of your culture, they will love to give you, give you them because they do enjoy working with you. So make it a part of your culture. And you do this very, I mean, it's very simple. First, by asking. Make sure that you, that you are asking people for reviews and make it easy for them. And you do it by thanking them and thanking them out loud and often and clearly and in a big way. And you make it a part of the culture by calling attention to reviewers. To let everyone else know who's giving reviews, that it's acceptable to give reviews, that it's even quite frankly expected that you give a review because you are a great school. You are working hard to educate those children. So why shouldn't you be given a review for that? So how do we get these great reviews and testimonials? I'll be very honest. It is, quite frankly, unbelievably simple. The first thing you got to do is ask. And the second thing you got to do is make it easy. That's all there is to it. Just go, go out to your parents and ask. Ask for those testimonials. And then make it easy for them. Don't make them work hard at it. Make it easy for them so that they can do it after you ask. And that's all that you have to do. Now, if you want some help setting up a review generating system, this is one of these things that I love to do. I love to set up stuff like that. This is one of my unique brilliances and what I love doing, and I can spend days doing this. So if you would like me to help you set up, you can schedule a free 60-minute blueprint, blueprint creating creation meeting with me. Just go to Attract More Families. You'll see there's a form there. Real quick, just a couple questions so I can get an idea of your program and your school before we 
get on the phone and we'll actually then sit down and we will create the blueprint which will which will have goals not just dreams for how we're going to improve your enrollment and your marketing because again like I said earlier it's really hard to get to where you want to go if you don't know and by creating the blueprint we take it from a dream the dream of more enrollments the dream of a better budget into an actual goal of there and we can create it by knowing how many times do we need to get testimonials how are we gonna get them what are we gonna do to our website with those testimonials how are we gonna use them how are we gonna use social media how are we gonna get more parents in here by having goals we can track and measure ourselves and, and it becomes a reality because what measures improves so anyways this has been Devin with another one of our great Monday master classes on how to grow private school, parochial school, and charter school enrollment to make you better and to allow you to do more of what you are best at, which are helping the kids of our country to become better people and to become smarter. So again, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless.